filled the Aerochino up with milk. Uh, as you can see the machine is now on so the green lights are on. If you leave it to go on standby the green lights will just flash. You can actually press, if it's on standby you haven't used it overnight, in the morning you can actually press the button. Uh, this one is for a large cup of coffee, this one is for espressos, you can see a small cup and a large cup icon on it. You can actually press the button twice and it will automatically fill up your cup once it's finished warming up so they need to wait around for it to finish warming up. Um, so I have also filled the water container with water. So we'll go ahead and we'll turn that on. It, you can see through the top actually it is. It's pretty cool to have a see through lid so you can see the thing in action. As I said before make sure you stick to the maximum limit or the drink will go everywhere. Another thing worth mentioning as well is you see the red light on the machine. If you hold on to it if you hold on to that button, the light will be blue instead and it will froth up your milk but it will keep it cool. There's a lot of recipes on their website on how to make your own version of Starbucks's uh, very popular drink, uh, Frappuccino, sorry, I forgot the name. There's, there's versions of how to make Frappuccinos, so if you want to froth up cold milk and add it to your drink, that's doable as well. Um, now that the machine is ready, I will go ahead and I will make an actual uh, drink just to show you. So we'll just wait for the milk to finish heating up. As you can see, it's just finished now and it's gotten pretty full up there. So let's just go ahead and pour this in. It is usually advisable to get a spoon because there's usually quite a bit of froth left at the bottom of it. Not so much this time, probably because I'm using semi-skimmed milk, but there is usually quite a bit of froth if you use full fat milk left into the bottom of this. It's pretty easy to rinse out as well. Um, I do recommend that you use a sponge when you're just rinsing it out on the bottom of it because otherwise you get the uh, dried up warm milk sticking to the bottom. And another thing as well, around the edges, Milk does tend to get in between here, so you will need to take this plastic ring off when you're washing this. Now let's go ahead and put an eye through. As you can see, this is the froth here, so you get quite a lot of froth in this machine. Um, compared to a lot of the other machines that I've tried. It has a nice layered look to it as well, and the milk at the bottom and the coffee rises just to there with the froth. So it looks pretty nice. Uh, this glass here I purchased for, I believe it was, three, four pounds from Tesco. Nespresso do sell their own glasses. They're hand blown and they cost a ridiculous amount. I believe it's 45 pound, which is around $70 for a set of four. Um, now this is a pretty thin glass. As you can see, I can hold on to it with absolutely no problems. There's no steam around here, which is the only complaint a lot of people seem to have with these machines is that unfortunately it doesn't make your drink that, that hot. I mean, if you're going to make a drink on this machine, you have you have to be ready to have it within one, two minutes. If you leave it at five minutes, it'll be too cold and it'll just be undrinkable. I do actually use this um, without a capsule, so I just do that to empty the capsule. And I do actually use this machine without a capsule just so I can have tea. I usually put my tea bag or, or my tea leaves into, into one of these. And then I put this into the cup and, and just use this to make actual tea, which is very good because usually when I make tea, I want to have it right away. I don't want to have boiling tea, which I sit around waiting for for 10 minutes. That is a bad point of this machine, though. As I said, if you are used to having tea or coffee from a kettle and you're used to being able to wait 10, 15 minutes you, to have your drink or, you know, five minutes to have your drink with this machine, you have to have it within two, three minutes because it just doesn't make it that hot. But then again, the reason for that is because from the time you turn the machine on to the time that it gives you the drink it's half the time of what it would take a kettle to boil your water for you. Uh, in terms of the quality of the drinks they're very very good. I honestly would say that they're better than Starbucks. I try and be as honest as I can in my reviews. 
the last coffee machine I reviewed I, I wasn't very fond of um, but the quality of Nespresso's coffee is really outstanding uh, if you this is the basic menu that you get with it at the top in this little in this little section here you have seven espresso blends underneath it you have another three pure original espresso blends they all list their intensity um, as well along with if they're recommended to be mixed with milk or if they're meant to be had if they're suitable to have in a long in a longy in a longo sorry and underneath that you have your list of longos you've got three decaffeinated options as well um, I would definitely keep an eye out on Espresso's website because they always have they always have special promotions both for the machine and limited edition capsules the limited edition capsules as I said last Christmas they had cherry chocolate and vanilla they sold out very very quickly and for some odd reason they refused to restock them however they also have limited uh, they also have limited time offers on the machines which this machine is usually hundred and seventy five pounds I believe uh, they always have promotions coming up two three times a year where you get forty pounds of free coffee which is one of the promotions I took part in so it's pretty good you keep your receipt for thirty days and then you send it to them fill out the online form and then they top up your Nespresso card with forty pounds that does bring me to one little issue that I have is if you want these capsules it's not as easy as walking into a Tesco or a Sainsbury's or one of the supermarkets and buying them you can't do that the only way you can get these capsules unless you happen to live near one of the two or three boutiques in the whole country is to order it directly from their website now whilst they do deliver within within two days the the problem is that you don't always you don't always want to have to go through ordering them sometimes you just want to go to the shops and try a new flavor when you order them sometimes it says that you've got an odd amount of number of uh, capsules you can only you can only order in 20s I believe it is so you can only order 20 40 60 or 80 it's either that or 10 so if you order if you order two boxes of if you order a box of 15 and a box of 10 they can't deliver it to you you need to order another box of 15 something incredibly silly like that it's just unnecessary hassle and also when you sign up it tells you that you've joined the Nespresso club and it says that you know you then have a club membership number on a club card you never get physically sent a card and you need your club membership number every time you're going to sign it you're going to place an order I think the ordering process is unnecessarily is unnecessarily complicated I mean once you sign up and everything is pretty straightforward but to force people to go to your website sign up just to order coffee I, I, I think that's what's put off a couple of my mother's friends for example because they don't really you know a lot of them don't use computers they love the drinks whenever they're around my mother uses this machine for them they love the drinks but it, I, I hope that they change that and I hope that they do strike a deal with the supermarkets to start stocking the capsules final note on the capsules is the expiry date on these things the expiry date on them is listed at the bottom Let's see if I can get a good focus on that there we go. The expiry date is focus is uh, listed on the bottom. It actually has the production date of the coffee as well, which is pretty interesting to have. This one, for example, was produced on the 23rd of May, uh, 2011, and the expiry date on it is the 30th April, 2012. So they last about 11 months on average. Um, I believe that they're all roughly the same. This one, the limited edition ones. September 2011, yeah, they, they, they will last 11 to 12 months, it will take a couple of days. All in all, I would recommend this machine if you're a coffee lover, it's, uh, it's definitely worth getting. This one, I've tried all of Nespresso's machines that they have to offer, and this one is by far the best one. Again, it does have the problem where the drinks aren't always as hot as you'd want them to be, but if you're willing to have your drink within two or three minutes, it's brilliant, and the quality of the coffee is much better than what you usually get in Starbucks. As I said, keep hold of your receipt. This little device here has a tendency to break down and I've also had to send the original one I've got of the machine. I had to send that because after about two weeks my original machine started to burn the coffee. So when I made coffee it had a really awful smell to it. However, I ordered mine from Amazon. They were very, very quick with getting it replaced with another one. So not a problem there. 
Uh, I hope you enjoyed this review. Any questions, please send me send me a message and I'll do my best to answer it. But overall, this machine is recommended for coffee lovers and it's, in the long run it saves you a lot of money and it's definitely better than the coffee that you get at Starbucks.